If you're planning to build a new unified network, there are a number of options, but none of them are as cost effective as this. This is the all new Unify Express, a $150 cloud gateway and Wi-Fi 6 access point. Today, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna see how it stacks up against something like the Dream Machine Pro, and I'm gonna share my thoughts with you as to whether or not this is the right fit for your network. Let's get into it. So what exactly is the Unify Express? Well, you see, it's a couple of things. One, it is a cloud gateway. This means that it is gonna run the Unify OS, and it's gonna to connect uh, to your ISP and serve as your gateway for your entire network. Alrighty, let's pull this guy out of the box. We've got an included power brick and one of their standard flexible uh, ethernet connectors. These guys are pretty cool because you can bend them however you need to, to to plug them in. Looks like this is a one foot cable. And then we have, oops, some documentation and our Unify Express. There she is. You know, this really reminds me of the form factor of the old Apple Airport Expresses. Well, the latest generation, the older ones actually were shaped more like a power brick, but this is almost the exact same form factor. And I don't have one of those, but I do have an Apple TV 4 comparison. So if I grab that, we can kind of see, you can see how these, how these stack up. It is almost exactly the same form factor, although at least the latest generation Apple TV is a bit taller. I don't know if you can see that on film or not but the apple tv is a little the apple tv is a little bit chunkier than the airport express in terms of io we have a one gigabit wan port a one gig lan port and a USB C connector for powering the device it would have been nice to see poe in as an option so you could power this over ethernet however chris over at crosstalk solutions came up with a workaround using the device to essentially siphon the power from the poe and send it over to that USB-C port. I'll leave that video link down in the description because it is a very viable solution should you need to power this over PoE. Now, let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in and set up in Unify. All right, so this is what the initial configuration screen looks like. We can give our device a name, and I'm gonna leave that alone for now, but I am gonna give it its own Wi-Fi network name. Let's just go ahead and call this network Coffee. We'll go ahead and continue. And now we're being instructed to plug in our internet. Sorry for the awkward cut there. I did have some difficulty getting this connected to the internet. And I think that's primarily due to some changes with my ISP. It seems for whatever reason, whenever I connect a new router, I need to reactivate my modem, which is new. But we can see that the device is connected to the internet and my MacBook, which is plugged into it via ethernet, is able to access the internet. I think this is something we take for granted with Ubiquity devices, because even if you don't configure them and you plug them in, Devices that plug into switches or anything else downstream is still going to be able to talk to the internet. This is not the case with other vendors of networking equipment. And we can see in our mobile app that we are almost done uh, with the setup process. And there's our Unify Express. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my desktop so we can see what Unify OS looks like on the web. And there's our Unify Express. Let's go ahead and connect to it. If you're familiar with Unify OS, the experience here is not gonna be much different. Although it is impressive that a box this small is capable of running such a powerful suite of features that Unify OS provides. There are plenty of routers that are this compact, but none of them are as capable as Unify. And there aren't any public specifications as to the CPU or the RAM inside of the Unify Express. But if we go over to console settings, and then about, we can see that we have just under a gig of RAM to work with and 10 gigabytes of internal storage. If we go over to applications, we can see that we don't have the option to set up talk or protect. And that makes sense as there really is not enough resources to go around to set up those applications. If you need talk or protect in a compact router, I would look towards the Unify Dream Router. Let's head back to the network application and see if we can spot some differences compared to something like the Dream Machine Pro. I found something for you guys. In the security settings in the network application, it looks like we don't have the ability to enable intrusion detection or intrusion prevention. We can still block specific countries, do device identification, traffic identification, and enable ad blocking, but we don't get IPS, which makes sense. IPS is a computationally intensive task. 
Moving on to devices, I want to take a look at the wireless settings of the Express. Now this does have a Wi-Fi 6 2x2 MIMO, which is impressive for such a small unit. And we can see here we can change to between 20 and 40 gigahertz wide channels on the 2.4 and between 20 and 160 on the 5 gigahertz. We don't have any higher bands on this device. Running my speed test through the Wi-Fi Man app, we are getting 259 megabits down and 29 megabits up. Impressive for an access point that's this compact let alone one that's also serving as a controller and a cloud gateway. Now, I can already hear you guys down in the comments saying, why would you spend $150 on this when you could spend a little bit more and get something like the Dream Router or even the Dream Machine Pro or Dream Machine Pro SE? Which leads me to my final thoughts as to whether or not you should buy the Unify Express. Well, let's be honest. If you're watching this video, you're probably an enthusiast or a tech-savvy business owner. In which case, you're willing to pay a little bit more for a little bit more functionality. And I don't think that's the target audience of the Unify Express, with a few exceptions that I'll get to in a moment. The reality is the vast majority of internet users simply want a router that works, and they don't care about who manufactures it, what security features it has. They want a device that is just going to let them watch Netflix, YouTube videos, or play a video game. And that is who this device is going to serve. I think this is ideal for grandma's house where you just want to install a device that you're not going to have to continue to troubleshoot unlike some of the other products at this price point that I shall not name for legal reasons. The other reason I think this device is going to be great in that market is a lot of small businesses are going to be fine with just one access point. When we initially set up the Wi-Fi network, I called it coffee. And that's because I think this is going to be a great device for a coffee shop. Now, one problem we do have is the lack of additional Ethernet ports. Now, for many environments, they just run Wi-Fi, so this won't be a problem. But if it is, or it becomes one in the future, you can also pick up one of these. This is a Unify Flex switch, and it's pretty compact. We can just set it right on top there. It's powered over USB-C, and it is a smart switch. And this leads me to kind of another point as to why this actually might be beneficial to someone over the Dream Router, and that's audiovisual applications, particularly folks that are mobile. I could very easily see this being Velcroed into a 1U shelf with an additional switch, maybe even a bigger switch, as we can connect up to four additional uh, Unify devices to this. And you can see I already have Velcro on here because it's actually what this came out of. Another use case for this might be in an RV or even an experimental airplane. Due to the lower power requirements of this as compared to something like the Dream Router, we can get away powering it with a lot less, potentially even batteries. As for me, I'm planning on using the Unify Express as a travel router. So when I'm out and about, I can securely VPN back to my home network and access resources like my Plex Media Server, File Server, and just anything else I'm not comfortable accessing directly over the internet. And I must say, I'm impressed. Ubiquity has crammed a lot of technology into a small box. And more importantly, they've managed to do it at a price point that is going to be friendly to most consumers who wouldn't, you know, just don't care less. They don't care less. They don't care less. Who could care less about the brand or the functionality of their router. They just want it to work. But what do you guys think? Are you going to pick up the Unify Express or are you going to stick with something like the Dream Router or the Dream Machine Pro? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.